Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video we will see how to implement simple CAPTCHA at the login page. This whole thing I will implement in two videos part 1 and part 2. In part 1 I will demo how to show CAPTCHA on the login page. And here is the scenario. CAPTCHA will not be always available on the login page. If the user failed to log in so after the third try along with username and password need to enter CAPTCHA as well. Many popular websites also implemented the same kind. And in part 2 we will see how to integrate this functionality with Spring Security. It's not straightforward. We need to add some extra code. Let's start. Open our GitHub page. If you watched our previous video then you are aware of that. I migrated an entire application from Bootstrap from 3 to 4 and add some other simple changes. Here is the code repository called Almighty Java. Let's download this code. It's done. Unzip this file. Let's import this to Spring Source. Imported successfully. If you have watched our simple capture related video then you knew that we added the JOR file. So we need to add that to build path. Later I will see how to use our own JAR file included as a Maven dependency. See now all errors are gone. Let's run this application. Server started. Let's open in browser. See it opened successfully. Click on the register button. See here I already added a simple captcha. Let's add same code for the login page as well. Let's open login and register JSP and user controller class. Copy the same code which we added for register method. That's it for the controller class. Copy capture related code from registered JSP. We already explained simple capture related code in one of our videos. If you have not watched then go and watch its link is in the description. That's it. Let's see simple capture is coming or not in the login page. See it's coming. Captcha is okay. But we don't want this CAPTCHA should show always. It should appear only after user failed to log in and exceed the fail limit. For example, we want this CAPTCHA after the third try. Let's log in with wrong CAPTCHA detail. Obviously it will allow because CAPTCHA related change is not yet implemented. See it is allowing. Let's log out. Let's add fail to limit related changes. Here is the CAPTCHA related code. We will add the required condition. Let's option constant utils file and add one constant for failure count. To make it simple variable name max CAPTCHA tries. Assign the value. I am assigning 3. Now this is ok. We need to track failure count then only we can compare. Let's see how do we do it. We will use atomic integer. This class is a part of the concurrent package so when you are in a multi-threaded context and you need to perform thread safe operations on an integer without using synchronize. So now you knew why I am using this. Need to change model to model map. Here I am getting a key called counter from model map.
Let's add a simple condition to display capture. Now let's add session attribute for counter. Create a method for failure counter. Return an atomic integer object and pass 0. Annotate this method as a model attribute and password counter. That's it for this class. But not yet completed we need something else as well to increment this counter. Let's add simple condition in login JSP page. Like CAPTCHA is empty then don't show this CAPTCHA. That's it for this JSP page. Now we will see how to increment this counter. Let's create a new class. We will keep it in a separate package called the listener. Create a class called counter application listener. Add interface called application listener. Click on finish. Add an implemented method. Replace this E with abstract authentication failure event as you can see name itself explaining the class definition and it's part of the Spring security package. Now let's add required changes. Need to create a bean for this class so open application class. Add bean for the listener. The bean is nothing but an object. That's it for this class. Now let's create one private method for get session. Now get a counter from the session attribute. If you remember we set counter as session attribute in the user controller class. Now we have a counter object. So there is a method in atomic integer class called increment and get. That's it. Let's run and see it's working or not. Server started with no error. See now CAPTCHA is not coming. 
add wrong username and password three times and see CAPTCHA is coming or not after the third try. See it's coming. Now enter correct username and password with the correct CAPTCHA. See it's allowing because CAPTCHA validation code is not there. We will add that code in the next video. Let's review whatever we added. I hope you understood whatever we did, it's very simple. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.